Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to part 11 of Sedira City here in City Skylines 2. Uh, so I have uh, been not recording for a few days. I did adjust a few things uh, off screen in between time because I had also some personal stuff to do. But uh, in regards to the things that I did off screen, uh, most of the thing happened over here because we had train issues here. And they were mostly caused by the single line train tracks. Now you might say like, but why do you have them here? Well, these are just one way tracks, you know, going in, going out. And for the rest, I changed most of all these other ones with double tracks. So you can have like trains going that way, trains going the other way. For example, here I had also a train track that was just a, a single line train track that went into there. And that's it. So you can have, you could theoretically have only one train on the entire track per time, in essence. So I, uh, yeah, I fixed that. And uh, here, um, what did I want to say? Oh yeah, I've also, I think I also already had this. What is that? Is that a train standing there still? Well, he's waiting for him to get out, probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. He has to get out and so he can get in. I think so, yeah. Now, uh, good news is like that just today, when I started this recording, let's get out of here, we had like the new uh, mod uh, library. It's the extended road upgrades. Hey! Kudos. Kudos to the uh, author of the... Let's see, that is like uh, SD apps called. And uh, even, uh, did I also, yeah, I did also say a, you know, you're a lifesaver, Snowy A Day, that's me. You're a lifesaver. Saturday, March 30. I think he just uploaded it today. Or let's see. Yeah, 30 March, 30 March. Well, I don't know how far it stretches, but we can place back those key walls because I made it this island, remember? And I could not place the key walls, but now we can place those key walls again. Look, uh, these things. Oh, I missed them so much, you know. This looks now much better. Yeah. So I've been thinking about two things. First of all, it's about this area. And secondly, it's about this area. Now, this area over here, you see in relation to the water edge, it's pretty, you know, it's a big cliff. You know, that's at least... Uh, in meters I don't know if I look at the trees you know an average tree like this this is I think at least 10 meters 15 so I, I was thinking about maybe creating sort of a staggered layer of low residentials over here not 100% sure how I, how that would work out but that's is something I want to try out now in the last episode here I just point down whoop, the low residentials and that was it now to be honest that's not the way how I want to play this game so we are grabbing this whole thing and I say like but we also have now this mod that is called plop the growables that means like we can put every kind of house that we want over here so how do we do that well we press the home button like this and we can also select uh, these specific items like buildings and then you have like all kinds of buildings over here. And then, well, and then here, eventually, if you scroll down, you get to the residential area. Okay, residential, yeah, residential. Um, the sad thing is there are no pictures. Now there is a way of dealing with this. I could, theoretically, uh, I have seen Biffa even doing that. He just took all these things, he just put them somewhere, and then he used the Move It mod to just slide uh, the house that he wants to their places. Now, let's say if I click this one, and I want to put it right over residential high. Okay, high, high, that is then high density. Uh, what I want is a residential low. So if I scroll down, yeah, this is a residential low. Well, it's a pity that I cannot. Well, can I or not? Uh, 
it's a lot of course there are a lot of houses and they are in all sizes so it's like it, yeah it's a pity you cannot see what how they look like so it's like if i take the, for example this one and i just plunk it down here then yeah it's yeah you know it does not really change that much so what i still can do what i did not do in the previous episode is like you know giving them you know separate spaces uh to work with it's like and also uh, different sizes so that might help so let's say a three by three uh oh these are wait a second these are row houses well, then a little bit more that's fine and nice and cheap then we select these and make them not too big because otherwise they become too expensive people start complain you know too expensive you know uh, rent too high and we're making just small houses over here so we do that three by three two by twos two by three like that like that 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 we can also place a park there in the middle so we keep that space empty two by three two by three two by two three by three like that two by four yeah we also have so you get all kinds of sizes and maybe even put another type of building uh, in between you know maybe just one little office you know why not just a few offices and maybe even you know one little store you know one or two whoa, 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 whoa. like that so you know that's the local store around the corner and then next to this park we can have like maybe a slightly bigger building like that uh, just for trying out i mean um, who knows and then here we can have like a bigger building and there now normally if this is like a main road often you see like that there are like you know side roads and side roads have then all these kind of uh, buildings attached to it so we can make a few side roads because why not let's say we do one here oh crap it never wants to be straight right no, that's straight okay yeah something like that those are sort of the alleys i put them deliberately in between here so on the main road you do have houses but often there are also side roads that also have like houses there you know they are more like in the back where people have more bigger gardens and whatnot yeah those kind of things so this is like hilly terrain now let's see what we can do here we can make also this over there it also goes up already so here we do it like well Let's see what it does when we go uphill. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Let's just see what uh, what this will give. So we grab this and then like that. How hilly will this become and how will it look? I'm curious. So like that and then like that. So yeah, this is really about details. Sort of, yeah, detailing. Main road. Two by four. Whoa. like that yeah, like that like that is this even given a house or not a three by one <laughs> I don't think so like that like that like that then maybe a bigger bigger house on the back two by two two by two so it's all a little bit of uh, trying to figure out and then yeah let's also put like a little shop here on the corner people can then just uh, go there and buy something i don't know cheese and um yeah the most heard complaint about the so-called new beach ass assets is like all nice and well but where's the beach you know that's the most heard comment that i heard uh, <laughs> in those comment sections it's like where's the beach and to be honest, I don't think that we can create a beach. It's it's like yeah, you can smoothen the you can smoothen the landscape, and what happens is it does kind of turn yellow, uh, white-ish. But can you really make a beach? Now let me try. Let me try this out because 
the only thing that I do see is that it's, if the water is very undeep like this, you know, you can... Okay, let me try this. You know, this is just for trying out. So this is like very shallow. I often use the word undeep, but that's also not proper English. Um, so this is very shallow. Shallow, shallow, shallow. So you could say like, well, it's sort of a... How do you get a beachy vibe? Well, you want, for example, protection against waves. So you, you would actually need some kind of piers. I call them piers, but yeah. How, how, how do they, those things are called in, in English? Because we have those things here in, in the Netherlands. You know, those are the dams that are like stretching into the, the ocean. Uh, on a 90 degree angle with the, with the coastline to just make sure that the coastline is not eroding away. Okay, let's just see what we can do here with now the softening tool. So we make now this softening tool like this. And uh, we increase the brush size and we decrease the brush strength. Like that. Now let's see. So we have a little bit of yellowness going on there. But the question is does it stay because I noticed often like if you do something there then it turns green again so okay you see the, yeah it turns green again if you go over it yeah so you cannot really make a beach unless but that's just a question I'm I'm trying to answer unless we can use surface areas I have no idea if that would work in this fashion we can just check that out now surface areas um, you find those uh, where are those again well sadly enough I cannot find that feature anymore where you can uh, make a surface area I thought it was uh, here under landscaping but apparently not that's sad. Um, okay, so maybe later. Maybe it will come back later again. Let's fill up also these areas. Um, let's have a look here. Okay, I need this thing because I need to have the zoning here. So I place a path just behind this house. So this zoning comes available. And also here as well. Uh, and also if I do this... We have even a little bit more zoning also, yes. So, yeah, place out like that. A 3x3 three three there, and then maybe a 3x4 there. Oh, those become two? No, 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 no. Oh, those row houses. No, 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 we don't need row houses there. <laughs> no row houses on those uh, areas. We need these. You go, you go. Yeah, like that, and then another 2x3, and then a 3x4, yeah, so that will be a somewhat larger house in the back. Uh, yeah, this will... Okay, 3x, okay, that's fine, yeah. Let's go to this area, here we can do the same thing, we can also apply like a path over here, and a path over there to get the zoning. And we can... Whoa! Yeah, parks by the way, I forgot to, you know, to place a few parks, like a small park here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? And then... Oh, that's the wrong button. 2 by 3 2 by 3 and then here a bigger one. And also here a bigger one. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Can I delete this and delete this? Yeah, it's no effect. This road, let me have a look here. Here the same thing. Okay, and a three by three. And actually, you know, that's not too bad, not too shabby. But uh, yeah, it's a little pity about the waterfront. Um, I cannot create a beach. I also lost the ability to make, um, you know, those zoning with the surface uh, textures. At least I cannot find them. Maybe I'm blind. If uh, if I could find them, that would be nice. But I, I cannot find them. 
Usually, I thought they were in here. Maybe I'm missing a symbol here or something. But uh, no, I definitely do not see those. So, yeah, nothing to do about that. Anyway, uh, we let this be. Now we go to this area. Now, this is going to be interesting because this I want to be stacked. Okay, stacked means like that we have to do some redecorating. Uh, first we start here. We take the brush size down and we just go above the waterline roughly here and we make a nice line where the houses are going to sit on the first staggered line and at first I, I take a lot of space and then later on you know the houses above that will be just slightly on a higher elevation so let's go there and then roughly up to there okay now, let's see what kind of road I can implement there, because that's also important. Now, I think I will go for this one again, and then take this one, turn that off. And let's see how we can do this. Now, do we want the houses to be on the water? Yes, we want. So I'm going to place this road alongside the, that cliff. Yeah, that seems nice. So let's continue this. Okay, so that's the road, that's the first layer of the stacked uh, one that we have. Okay, now we grab this thing again. And I also want to, yeah, the contour lines are showing. You can see them here, the lines. Uh, so how much space do I, I think there will be three layers. Wow, there's traffic here. <laughs> uh, three layers, I think, three, maybe four. Nah, let's keep it three. I think that's best, so three layers that means like I will have to say like okay I need to divide this into two layers so I will click roughly there with my right mouse button and then we lower this down so this is slightly higher than the road behind it just slightly and like that yeah, like that. Yeah, that's yeah, that works. So we grab now the this road, this thing again, and we're going to make a similar road here alongside this uh, edge. Okay, so what you're seeing now here is that the zoning here takes place from um, this road up to here and this road is not having the zoning here. Now I can try to use the um, this thing, the retaining wall, and I put a retaining wall on this side, on the upper side. Yeah, that, that changed the zoning. It also really messes up the look of my what does it? Oh, that's just a shade. Ah. It looks pretty weird, but somehow... And those shadows are pretty strong. Let's just do it. I, I guess it follows the contours of the land. And I think it also brings up the land a little bit. So let's just try... This looks so weird, you know, so dark. I know it's not dark if you look at it from this side, but okay, let's just try. We bring out here uh, little houses like that, that, and that. These are really, you know, yeah, let's say beach properties or just coastal properties. You can name it like that. Mm, there and there, there, and there. This one can be a little bit bigger. Two by three, that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and then that, and then here we place also like a little, little shop, you know, on the coast, on the shore, why not, why not, like that, also a little office, where people can work if they want, 
very local office, you know, for, I don't know, fill out a, a few paperwork, get the driving license, I don't know. So, let's see how this will, uh, how this will go. Of course, they're complaining about sewage in the water because the whole thing is not connected. Okay, that's uh, no problem. Uh, we need to connect those roads also together. So, we are grabbing um, this road here. Connect it from there to there. Oh, that's acceptable. Yeah, that's pretty much acceptable. Okay, so let's grab then this thing again. And basically, we are going to make the last layer, which is then the half of this. So that would be then there. And... Like that. Like that. It's already not much lower than the rest of uh, the area. So, it's yeah... But it's tacked, so that's nice. Like that, like that, like that, 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 and that. Here we go, yep. That's doing out nice. All the way there to the road. How high is this? Is this... Yeah, it's slightly higher. Mm-hmm. So... Put it, I will put now in the time lapse uh, the placement of these houses, so be right back. Alright, something that I noticed here is that uh, here the houses are not being built, means like that the zoning is still attached to this road. Uh, that's a pity because that means like I need to use the path here to get rid of that, so I have to make a path from here. There, 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 there. Does that not get rid of the zoning? For, for oh, there's no demand anymore for low, low. Uh, oh, that's the reason. Ah, okay. Never mind it. So let me delete then this. Like so. Okay, no more demand. Ah, okay. Well, yeah, that can happen. Um, we need to connect this stuff up anyway. So let me also place the last layer of roads, uh, which we will be then, I, I guess, over. Let's see, this is being placed there, and yeah, this road has to be then there, following the contour contours of uh, of that little ridge. <laughs> that is dipping down a little bit. What? Wait, 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 wait. We're just going around that little ridge like that. Yeah, like so. Here we go. Then we take this road. We bring it out towards the roundabout because of course it has to be connected naturally and from here we take it further to there 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 then all the way to there and then there now as soon as this is connected then they also have like uh, oh, boink. they will have like power and sewage and the whole thing yes uh, so, okay, our demand uh, for low residential is, uh, yeah, low. Um, I wonder what happens if I would re remove that retaining wall, because, to be honest, I find it ugly. <laughs> so let me see if that is possible. Without destroying those houses. Okay, oh, I love that. I, I like that. But this is just beginning, guys and girls. This is just... Um, uh, d yeah, even before you place like trees and, and, and fences and all those kind of things. So, uh, also I want to create some paths. Let's say from... Mm, page, page down, no, from there to there. <laughs> it creates even a bridge over here. Okay, okay, it's, uh, it, it is what it is. 
yeah that that yeah that is to be expected with this kind of terrain right uh, uh huh from there to there and even from there people can walk to that <laughs> oh that looks so messy it's, it's a pity you cannot say like you know stick to the ground you know that path it's like it's like it makes a tall um even in those road tools by the way if i say like this is a tunnel this is a bridge mode a wider street lights if i just try the bridge mode effect what what will we get then select this 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 uh this thing it turns automatically into a bridge mode like that Well, this does not really look like a bridge, uh, so apparently not. Um, anyway, so what we are going to do now here, um, I can turn also this road into a uh, with a with a, with a um, um, an edge, but I rather use just this thing because this, this that's much easier to work with. So what I will do here to make sure that I can place uh, the buildings on the lower side of this road is to just make the path go over here like that you see like that 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 and that is not entirely working is that maybe because it turns into a bridge yeah yeah that works it's a little bit of tinkering we don't have any zoning at all here hmm here yeah you can maybe if I do this no the zoning disappears I think the amount of space is just too little and here here let's see if I can change it by doing this yeah bring it up to there and here yeah i like that so oh we have uh, already some demand again so let me uh, put in some buildings hey that's pretty nice actually you remove the uh, paths you know the walking paths and the zoning stays i i, re I really like that so Let's see what we can do here. We go from there to there, from there to there, to there, and then from here to there. And it creates also another tunnel here as well. <laughs> Look at that land. <laughs> Look at that land. Uh, okay. Yeah. Look at this connection. What? What? Um, what? The, okay. Wait, 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 wait. This can be done better. Wait, um, we do it like this. Yeah, sort of. I think I think that works. I think that definitely works. So these people are really living pretty nicely. Now the only thing that is missing is like you know, <laughs> trees. You know. We need a little bit of trees, so we dive into the tree mod, uh, which is this thing, and then we select the tiny trees. This is this is sets, and these are the wild bushes. So those are the smaller kind of trees. We take the adult and also those, so we get a mixture. We decrease the size, so they will also fill up the little crooks and crannies. We increase the brush strength. We turn anarchy off, we, otherwise you have the tree in the living room, you don't want that. Um, snapping, remove only matching type. Chains, let's see what we can make. Let's see how we can fill this up, this area. It's not really doing, yeah, it's doing just something, but also that one. Hmm, okay, so, hey, did I not select this? This one, bushes, wild, uh, um, let me try this. 
Yeah, okay, so you get also some bigger trees there. Yeah, so we have to decrease the, the brush size in order to, to create more density. That really helps, you know, if, if people are living here, you don't want to expose them to the, um, you know, to all the traffic that goes by. And you know, and trees can also be used to cover up, uh, you know, a lot of uh, imperfections. You know, and not everything has to be completely jam-packed stuff, you know. Uh, let me see, do we have everything? Precise. I think so, yeah. It's also a small brush size, of course. So we create a lot of trees here in this area. Because this is really alongside this main road. Now, what we also can do is like we pick this option. We get out of this option. We just pick just a random tree. And um, where's that single tree option? That's... That's 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 like gonna oh here it is <laughs> I could not I could barely not find it. Okay, this is just one tree. So you can just You can now use anarchy and then make sure that you do not, you know, get into the houses. So you can really use this to fill the area up. But I also noticed that some of the other trees are despawning if you put too many of them. See that some of them are despawning, and then here we can. You see that they they despawn. That's very that's very weird, if you ask me. Um, yeah, people are walking there. We have a bunch of row houses there, which is nice. And let's see if we can make a line of trees. So let's take a little bit less distance, like 12 meters from here oh, that's even still too far let's make it six so are those different types of trees I only selected one right this this and that I want a little bit of younger tree like this yeah smaller tree that's nice that's nice Like so, and like so. So this is just a little bit of more detailing. It's a pity though that the uh, surface uh, option uh, is gone. Or I just could not find it. Uh, I will try to localize it uh, after this recording. We will see how it will... If I can find it. Uh, but I probably would have found it, I think. So those, those are the those trees there. So we grab another kind of tree. That's a very little one. So we take a little bigger. That's still a little one. Yeah, those are nicer. Like so. And so from here we go through the bend. Oh, come on, a little bit more bendy. And from there to there. From there to there. I think also this uh, line could be filled up with also some smaller uh, bushes like these. No, those are not small enough. How about these are also not small. These maybe? Yeah, those are pretty small. Okay, we need to make the spacing less. Yes, yeah, so you get like really, you know, a layer of this stuff. Like that. And then like that like that what I also have to uh, say is like I really enjoy playing without thinking about money you know I just want to build something that's 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 it you know I want to build something without thinking about money without thinking about economies you know just, just you know, yeah just build something I, I love it I love it yeah, so like this Yeah, and there are many areas where we can uh, apply all these kind of things. A lot of people are walking here, so apparently they like it. So that's just one of the things. And I think only in that new uh, pack we have like palm trees. We don't have palm trees. None of these trees are actually palm trees, which is just a... Yeah, we don't have anything 
that is that you can use here the, the only thing um, also the find stuff mod is not there anymore but okay if you press home then it does not work anymore okay do we need to turn this off Anarchy? maybe that's the reason Anarchy. okay then press home oh it does not work anymore okay somebody smoked in the wrong place okay <laughs> um, I'm just thinking what did I wanted to try to find um, yeah I, I don't have anything to find there's nothing that you really can place alongside here uh, and now this 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 yeah this I pressed the home button but it does not work anymore this for some reason it disappears hmm, that's a pity so what do we have here? Is there something that would fit this area? National Gallery, the Ferris wheel, which is like... Oh, do we want to have a Ferris? <laughs> that would be like... Nah. Very dopey. Uh, let me put like a, fer uh, a little fire department here. Fire... Oh, there's... I think... Is that a fire department? Fan? Oh, look. They are here already. Nice, nice, nice. Um, so let's see. This is like a college. Great. Um, how about an elementary school here? Because we have the space. So an elementary school directly bush next to it. That makes them happy. They can walk there. So I have to make sure that they can actually get there proper. So let's say they walk from here. There's some space here and there make a crossing there yeah that's fine and from there to there making a crossing there because there is space yep and then from there it's a slope too steep and then from there to there yes and they can walk that way there's a pedestrian crossing over there I never liked those. You know that. You know that uh, about me. So I will delete that one, and I will create a pedestrian bridge for those uh, for those guys. They are also crossing here. What is this? How can they cross here? Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's see what happens if I just make a. Uh, Destin bridge here. Slope too steep. Okay, let me change this a little bit. Like that, and then try it again. So we go down to zero and then make a lovely curve to like let's say 6.25. No, five. Five is enough. And then from five we go from here to 7.25 and then we go to the other side yeah so 7.25 and then we make a curve here back to 5 because we came from 5 like that I make it a little bit more less curvy because we have a building there and from here we can just curve it around to 0 like that Whoa, look at the amount of peeps are walking here. What is this building? This is like the park maintenance depot. I think there's a... Um, yeah, there's a tram stop here as well. I see. Ah, okay. Will they make use of this... <laughs> lovely looking pedestrian bridge? <laughs> I don't know. But they can cross here. That is like... This is weird. How can they cross here? What does this thing says about that? Can I? No, I cannot turn that off. Hmm. Apparently, I'm not really using this. Ah, okay. Of course, they need to go to that school also here the same thing so let me just if I 
just drag it from here. I can drag this totally through there, through there, all the way to uh, Anarchy, overlapping items. <coughs> Yep, like that, and then from here, straight through to there. Voila, they can walk to the school now. Uh, overlapping items, I have anarchy still on, I noticed like that. So I think those are these three, so we pull those those away. Look at that. This one, this little bush, yeah, mm, that little tree. And can they cross here? I don't think so. Overlapping items. Ah, really? Okay, then we do it like this. Okay, extra path. Fine. Sadly enough, I cannot uh, put any parking lots in this area. Maybe, maybe here. If this area is straight enough, so let's check it out guys and girls, let's check it out, parking lots. This is the smallest one we have and it kind of fits here. We can use the move it mod by, you know, by just moving it around to how we want to have it, a little bit closer by, but this will remain a bumpy place. Yeah, bumpy place, you know, a lot of, yeah, bumpiness. Uh, let me increase this parking fee because uh, whoever can live here, you know, they can pay the, you know, the parking fee, and we create a little bit more you know, bush, bush, bush around here, like that. These are the same tree, so we change the trees a little bit. Here we go. We put that around here that these people oh that does not work because it's despawning that's weird it's actually really weird yeah but okay at least the trams are working that's nice to see uh, that's very nice to see right so how is our city actually doing i mean if we look at the city economy we definitely have like wow 12 million in the plus wow taxation is just yeah okay it's like 10 percent okay and we do have demands for days um yeah this is really uh i find this pretty nice um this island also still needs uh, to be expanded uh although we have a few of these buildings over here which are empty yeah they complain this guy's always complaining. They're always complaining about wait, waiting for a hearse. And I have like, uh, you know, a crematorium here. Police station over there. And there's another crematorium there. All that stuff will be get. Uh, they will get that. This side, I actually like it. And yeah, I hope sincerely that we can do something, you know, with the waterfront. Because I have no real options to do with the waterfront. It's, it's, uh, it's kind of sad, you know. So, let's see what we can do here. We can place a few trees. Uh, now I'm a little bit confused. These trees. Are those longer bushes? Tool mode, these, brush size, and then sets, evergreen, pine, pine and spruce trees, bigger, anarchy off. Yeah, and then make sure that this hill is like, you know, covered with, with dense trees. And you really have a feeling, you know, that you're living here in the woods. Behind the hill, actually we should not have like trees on the hill there. Here it's fine, but not the parts where there where there are actually cliffs. So those are the yellow areas. And only on the green area. So we fill this area up with some greenery. 
like that. Pretty nice, actually, yeah. Yeah, and then here it's like we can select uh, the wild uh, bushes and then we just can randomly put those here in front and then we have to wait until we get more assets or a mod that allows more beach opportunities it's not like in city skylines one you know there they had there was like this wonderful beach uh, asset uh, which i really liked but here yeah you really cannot uh, do much of it so i'm going to put this through the forest a little bit of the stuff because why not and also grasses i miss grasses the, the, you can place bushes but you cannot place really the grasses that's a, also a pity by the way so make it bigger like that and that and that and that but yeah so the question is what is next on the agenda now if we um look at the map then we have now this harbor over here we don't have an airport yet we also don't have the uh, far away, you know, uh, distant uh, remote area yet, either. Um, yeah. Um, what I did off screen, oh yeah, I forgot about that. It's about this road here, this highway. You know, what? Look where that is going. I made this highway going all through the mountains here. All the way through the mountains, all the way over sheer cliffs. And here it exits the map. Yeah. Even with a little turned about for whoever changes their mind like thinking like do I really need to go there I don't want to go there I don't want to go there <laughs> this must be like how you are when you are Superman just flying just over everything <laughs> and then you see the city there in the background not bad, you know. Whether you look at it from the ocean or from the land, actually, it's not bad looking. Definitely not bad looking. But uh, for episode 12, guys and girls, uh, yeah, I, uh, I really have to think about, you know, what we are going to do. Um, airport is possible. But um, we have to figure out where we are going to place that. Um industries area uh, we do have more industry demand trains are still doing fine no jams there traffic last time was at what was it 55% uh, or something I think now it's at it's a little bit better it's now nearly at 60% okay oh well, that's nice um, yeah I think uh, I think we leave it at that for this episode number 11 and uh, I hope to see you soon again in episode 12. Tips and suggestions are always welcome. Uh, if I, you know, what can I do in this area? More industries? And can we do something on top of this hill, for example? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I do like this, although it needs to be filled up with a little bit more trees. Of course, some of these things I will do off screen. I cannot do everything uh, on while recording and uh yeah i uh i would say like uh, guys and girls thank you for watching give this uh, video uh, a like uh, a subscribe and a thumbs up and you will be notified uh, until the next episode comes out okay guys and girls thank you for watching and until next time see you